verify that f and g are inverse functions. So let's look at uh, given two functions. So fx equal to negative 5 over 2x minus 3 and gx equals to negative 2x plus 6 over 5. Okay, so we have many different methods to verify two functions or inverse functions each other. So this lesson video, I'm going to introduce two different methods. One is the using one function and define the inverse function. The other one using composition function property. Okay, so the first method using the one of the functions. So it, it is up to you which one you choose. But I will choose for this lesson fx here. So from fx, I'm going to make y equal to negative 5 over 2x minus 3. And from here, we switch x and g position. So that's the first step to find the inverse functions, right? So then this become x equal to negative 5 over 2 y minus 3 here. And from here, you are solving for y. Therefore, I'm going to combine, add 3 first. Then this become x plus 3 equal to negative 5 over 2 y. And then multiply everything negative 2 over 5, which is reciprocal of y coefficient, then this cancelled out, this cancelled out, and negative and negative become positive. So then y equal to negative 2x plus 3 over 5. Okay, therefore we can rewrite f inverse equal to negative 2 x plus 3 over 5. Now, just compare given gx and then f prime x here. It looks a little bit different though. So, I'm going to match the format. Then now, take out negative outside, then become, and then distribute. So, 2x plus 6 over 5. So, as you see, this is exactly same as this one. Therefore, we found fx and gx are inverse functions each, with each other. Okay, another method we, we can use composition function, which means we plug one function into another function. So let me copy the original fx and gx one more time, and then we want to find out one of them's composition function here. So, we found f and g are inverse functions already, right? Okay, then uh, let's go back to previous lesson and then find out any uh, inverse, fun uh, inverse function case here. So, let me use this function. So, fx is x minus 4, f prime x equal to x plus 4 here, right? I'm using this function and they find out the composition function here. So, key point is fx equal to x minus 4, f prime x equal to x plus 4. Let's find out f open that f prime x which means you are plugging this into here basically right then this becomes x plus 4 minus 4 therefore x plus 4 minus 4 so answer become x what about we find f inverse 
open dot f x then it become x minus 4 plus 4 so x minus 4 plus 4 so equal to x again so from here we can find out if two functions are inverse function if we find out their composition function the answer always come out x here using this property we can double check just go back to the our original function uh, let's find their composition function so i'm gonna find out f open dot g x okay then you are plugging gx value into here then this becomes negative 5 over 2 and then negative 2x plus 6 over 5 minus 3 okay so open the parentheses which means distribute so negative and negative become positive and then this becomes So 10x plus 30 over 2 times 5 become 10 minus 3, which means x plus 3 minus 3, so become x. As you see, we got x here, so they are inverse function. Let's try to find out g open the fx again. So g open that f x which means you are plugging fx into just right here so this becomes negative 2 times negative 5 over 2 x minus 3 so plus 6 over 5 right okay then this becomes distribute then negative negative become positive and then 2 and 2 cancel out so become 5x and then becomes so negative stay outside and then take 5x and then become minus 6 and plus 6 over 5 and it is cancelled out to so become negative 5x over 5 and then this case now oh before it was minus 5x by the way so become plus 5x over 5 so become x here so as you see either f open the gx or g open the fx we both got x here Therefore, we can also verify f and g are inverse function with each other.